Curious how much sleep your four-month-old needs? Hi there. My name is Amy. I'm a pediatric sleep consultant and the founder of the Postpartum Party. Today, we're going to dive into your four-month-old, their sleep needs, how many naps they're going to take, and how long you can expect them to sleep at night. Before we get started, I want to share my baby sleep schedule calculator with you. Use this to input your baby's age, their wake window will pop up, and then you can put in their wake up time in the morning, and then a daily schedule will populate based on your baby's needs. Grab that in the description box below for free, and you can use it as your baby grows to know what their sleep schedule should be at any given time. If sleep schedules are your jam, like they're mine, then I have one more resource for you. My baby sleep schedule binder has sample sleep schedules as well as when and how to make nap transitions for ages zero through four years old. Grab that in the description box as well. All right, let's get on to your four month old and their sleep needs. Four months old is such a fun stage because your baby starts having so much more personality than they did in those newborn days. So hopefully you've gotten your first smile, your first giggle, your baby may even be starting to roll over, but they're not too mobile yet. This phase comes with tons of personality and limited mobility. So it's a really fun age to experience as a parent. However, many changes are also going on in your baby's brain and body that could bring up a four-month-old sleep regression. Make sure that you're following an appropriate four-month-old schedule so that you can eliminate a sleep schedule as being an issue with their sleep. Let's get into what sleep should look like for your four-month-old during this time. In the newborn phase, we really focus more on routine and less on a rigid schedule. We're going to continue that same mindset for your four month old, knowing that we can have a little more predictability to their days for naps and bedtime. It's really common at four months old for naps to still be short. Some babies are still trying to learn how to fall asleep. You may still be helping them a little bit and that's okay. Some parents are ready to sleep train at this age and dive fully in. So we can set up a little bit more predictability for your four month old while still practicing some of that flexibility. Because after all, we're working with human babies here. Your baby's not a robot. They're not always going to fall asleep at a time that we designate on the clock. So we can set up some routines, some predictability, and a lot of days we might have success with that. But I also want you to keep in mind that flexibility is still really important at this age. Your four month old should be getting around 15 to 17 hours of sleep in a 24 hour period. So that includes their night sleep and their naps. Their day sleep will add up to about four and a half to five and a half hours at this age. And hopefully they're giving you a good stretch at night between about 11 to 12 hours, though it is normal if your baby still needs a feed in the middle of the night. Your four month old's wake window is between about one and a half hours to two hours. Now, if you're not familiar with wake windows, I have an entire YouTube video about that. So go ahead and make sure that you check that out. Essentially, your baby's awake window is the time that they can stay awake in between sleeps. We want to pay attention to their optimal wake window to make sure that we prioritize getting them back to sleep before they are awake for too long. This will help your baby fall asleep better and help them sleep longer during that nap time. Babies who are overtired tend to have a harder time falling asleep and staying asleep. So we really want to pay attention to your baby's wake windows to make sure that we're getting them down in the optimal time. Recommend keeping your baby's wake window in the beginning of the day closer to 90 minutes. And then you can get it to about one hour, 45 minutes to about two hours throughout the rest of the day. Pay attention to your baby and see what works for them. If you were doing 90 minutes throughout the day and all of a sudden their naps have shortened or your baby's starting to wake up early in the morning, then they may be ready to add about 15 minutes to various wake windows throughout the day. Usually the shortest wake window of the day is in the morning before their first nap. So it's in between the time they wake up for the day and then their first nap. 
That's usually the shortest wake window. And then usually they can extend those wake windows slightly throughout the day. So their longest wake window is typically between their last nap and bedtime. Let's see what this might look like for your four month old with these 90 minute to two hour wake windows changing throughout the day. So say your four month old wakes up at 7 a.m. Their first nap of the day will be at 8.30 a.m. Hopefully they sleep a good nap till about 10. Then their next nap of the day, we can shoot for 11.45 a.m. Once that nap is over, you might be able to stretch them to two hours. So let's say they go down for another nap from about 3.15 to five o'clock. Then after that, they'll have another two hour wake window before bedtime and then bedtime will be around seven o'clock. You may have to shift this depending how long your baby can stay awake, but this is a great sample schedule for babies who do well within that wake window. Now that first schedule I gave you had really, really glorious naps and not every baby is going to do that at four months. So I also wanna share what a schedule might look like using the same wake windows for your four month old, but adjusting your day if your baby does take short naps. And again, if your baby does take short naps, it's totally normal. It's very common at this age. Usually babies are able to connect those sleep cycles once they get closer to about six and seven months old. So here's what a sample day might look like if your baby's taking short naps, but you're still paying attention to their wake window and trying to get them down within that optimal time. Say they have a 7 a.m. wake up, then they have the 90 minute wake window and then they sleep from about 8.30 to 9.15. They're up again and you stretch their wake window for about two hours. Then they take a nap from about 11.15 to 12 p.m. And they're up for another two hours. Then they sleep from about 2 to 2.45 p.m. Then they're awake, they're going down for their next nap from 4.45 to 5.15 p.m and then you're putting them down for bed at about 7.15 p.m. So do you see how even though the naps were short, we still stuck to those 90 minute to two hour wake windows and continue to put our baby down. So instead of three long naps, they took several shorter naps, but we still paid attention to their wake windows to get them down for sleep at the optimal time. This is where flexibility comes in over rigidity. Your baby may not sleep those one and a half to two hour naps, but you can still adjust their day based on their wake window and the nap that they do take. A 45 minute nap at this age is really common and it's still enough to take that sleep pressure off for your baby. So once they're awake, you could just start a new wake window and continue your day from there. If your baby is struggling with sleep, then the four month sleep regression may be to blame. I have an entire video about the four month sleep regression because it's so much to cover here, but just know that that can be a very common sleep regression that babies can run into around four months old. If your baby is struggling with the four month sleep regression, then make sure to check out that video and really try to hone in on your good sleep habits. Don't forget to grab the free baby sleep schedule calculator so that you can get a customized sleep schedule based on your baby's age and their wake up time for the day. That's in the description box below. And if you love schedules and want more like this, grab my baby sleep schedule binder that has sample schedules for ages zero all the way up through four years old. So if you have questions about your four month old, their sleep schedule, or even the milestones that they're reaching, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. Sweet dreams.